Jesus loves you. Jesus loves every one of you. No matter who you are, no matter from where you have come, no matter what you have gone through, just believe Jesus loves you. Just that faith that Jesus loves me, no matter what, that will cause you to triumph in life. There is power in that faith, my loving children. And as I humble myself, come to you, along with my dear precious wife, Suhanti, and our precious one and only daughter, Divina, to all of you and everyone anywhere, we are nothing, I am nothing. I come to the cross where the Holy Spirit meets me, and by his blood, Jesus, the blood he shed for us all, Holy Spirit washes me, cleanses me, whiter than snow, at the cross, at the cross, and there he gives me the message. It's at the cross. Holy Spirit gives the message. He takes the word. The word is Jesus. The word is Jesus. He takes the word from Jesus and gives to me to give to you and to all, any part of the world. My dear children, so the word is Jesus. Holy Spirit takes that word and gives to me to give to you and to all. All over the world, the people watch, receive life, life and life in abundance, victorious, eternal, through these programs, services. It continues until rapture and eternal, getting better and better, greater and greater. Hallelujah, glorious and glorious, all because of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He loves you. I have nothing to give you. I am nothing. It's all Jesus. Holy Spirit takes from Jesus and gives to us. As we come to the living word of God, the Lord's Holy Spirit was telling me to receive the faith from Jesus. Faith from Jesus. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the words of the living God. He loves you. He gives you faith. Many people say, I don't have faith. I don't have faith. I can't believe, they say. It's difficult. I know this. I hear this. But I can't believe. When you go through difficulties, when you go through sorrows, when you go through difficult times, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, maybe family, child, children, looking at the future, you may be worried. Frightened, scared. Lord, I've heard all this. I know this, but I can't believe. Today, Holy Spirit brings that faith from Jesus and gives to me to give to you. It's for all of us. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the living God. You can even just close your eyes and lift your hands and receive. Holy Spirit is bringing that faith from Jesus. Faith comes from Jesus. It's by faith in Christ Jesus we live. His faith, my beloved, comes because he loves you, loves you. This is the faith that works by love. Galatians 5, 6. That's his love that saves us through faith. Ephesians 2, 8. No matter what you are going through, you are going to be saved by his grace. There is power in his grace. There is life in his grace. And the faith, faith, faith is coming now. My loving child, believe he loves you. Believe he shed his blood for you. Believe he died and rose from the dead. It's not just knowing, but believing, 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 receiving it in your heart. Lord, I receive it into my heart. You shed your blood and rose from the dead. For me, I believe in my heart that you saved me by your blood and washed me by your blood and you are risen. You are risen. You have defeated sin and death and hell and curse and all Satan. Oh, to give me life. Believe there is life coming to you. There is life coming to you now, into your spirit, soul, mind, body, your home, your child, your family, your finance, your future. There is life, life, life in abundance.
words. He loves you, loves you, loves you. It's a saving faith he is giving you now. Ephesians 2, 8. Oh, it's a saving faith. You are going to live. No problems are going to drown you. He will be there with you in every difficulty. He will never leave you, never forsake you. He rose from the dead to be with you. He loves you. You are going to live because of Jesus in you. Galatians 2, verse 20. Paul said, I live because of Christ, my faith in Christ. Yes, who the Son of God who gave his life for me. Oh, he thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you are going to live your home, your family, all of us until rapture and eternal of our generations. Everywhere there is going to be life. Lift your hands and receive. Michael, lift your hands and receive. Naomi, lift your hands and receive. Yes, you are going to live your home, your family. Yes, believe, believe that Jesus told me today, I am pouring my faith into my dear ones. Yes, to save them, save them in every situation. Yes, he loves you. You will never drown in your problems. He is with you to lift you, to lift you. Yes, you will rise again. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. It's a saving faith. It's a living faith. The second Corinthians 5, 7, you are going to live. We are going to live by this faith. No matter, even if problems come in one direction, Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, Jesus says, I will drive it out in seven directions. Isaiah 59, 19, when the enemy comes like a flood, Holy Spirit will lift the standard of Jesus. Oh, he loves you loves you. He who is in us, he who is in us is greater than anyone on this earth. First John 4, 4, rejoice in your workplace, in your family, in your health, in any area. He who is in you, Christ Jesus in us, I live by the faith in the Son of God. It's a living faith, living faith. We are going to live until rapture and eternal with our child and family generations, your children and generation, or in whatever way you are. Thank you, Jeremy, Jeremy, me. It's happening right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. The gift of faith is coming into you. Holy Spirit is bringing the gift of faith into you so that you even adverse situations. Yes, you will stand. You will stand. Yes, you are going to live. Yes, everywhere. Enemy will turn back. Psalm 56, 9, any situation, because Jesus lives, Jesus lives, we shall live also. It's a living faith, John 14, verse 19, all from the word of God, yes. Oh, beloved ones, I just read a testimony in one of our old magazines. My loving children are full of testimonies. Sometimes I read these testimonies so that my faith increases. It's our ministry, signs, wonders, miracles, full of testimonies are there in our magazines. Take them, read them, and your faith will increase because it's all the glory of Jesus, glory of Jesus. It's all him. It's no man. It's no money. It's not silver, gold, or show. Tears are wiped away. People are saved, healed, delivered, all with life, life. I was reading this blessed family had been married for quite some times and they didn't have children. Miscarriages, miscarriages, and many times the precious baby, baby had gone to live with Jesus in the womb. They were, they were totally exhausted, frustrated, discouraged, and they went for so many hospitals, medications, years passed. One day they were there in one of our miracle life healing services in, in Dubai quite some years ago, and the Holy Spirit gave me the name, gave me the name of that lady. I didn't know. Holy Spirit gave the name. I called out the name because Holy Spirit knew. And they believed by faith, by faith, by faith, yes, today. And after two months, the husband uh, wrote, they were uh, surprised, rejoicing. The wife was pregnant. They came running to me, and the great Holy Spirit and the great Lord Jesus told me to tell them this time the baby will be surrounded and held by the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus in the womb. 
Lo and behold, they were given the gift of a beautiful baby girl whom they named Victoria. It's all in our old magazines. Read them. When you are in trouble, when you are in trial, many of you get frustrated. Read the Bible first, Bible first, Bible first, because that's Jesus. And then, my beloved, our magazines are there. Read them and give the glory to Jesus. Faith will come. Today is giving you saving faith, living faith. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, he loves you, loves you. There is a faith called healing faith. Oh, when Paul was preaching somewhere, he saw a man crippled, born lame from his mother's womb. This man was staring at Paul and listening to the word. And the Holy Spirit told Paul, the greatest apostle next to Jesus, he said, this man has the faith to be healed. And Paul knew it in the Holy Spirit. And he said, rise up, young man. And this man stood and walked and praised the Lord. So many testimonies like this, even in our ministry, so many, my loving children. One day, uh, while we were in one of our miracle life healing rallies, massive crowds of a young boy born uh, from his mother's womb, unable to walk, unable to walk properly, only with the help of crutches. He was walking right from his mother's womb. And he was healed instantly. It's all in the video, television, it's in our magazines. It's easy for Jesus. It's so natural for Jesus to heal, deliver, save, and to give us life, life even now, even now, Preeti, life is coming now. Yes, every sorrow will be over, every sorrow. Oh, just believe, just believe, and lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive this, Lord, I receive this, Lord, I receive this. You must be uh, having that faith along with Jesus, along with the Holy Spirit. As you listen to this word, every ailment will go, Every throat pains will go. Every pain below your ears, down your jaws will go. Everywhere in your neck, everywhere, every uneasiness in your bodies will go. It's happening right now. The faith is coming. The faith from heaven, Jesus of Nazareth. There is power in his faith. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Yes, the stone is moved away. Believe what that stood against you, your child, your home, your job, your finances moved away. Mark 16 verse 4, believe, believe, believe. When Jesus rose from the dead, Mary Magdalene came in the darkest hour in the early morning before the sunrise, before the sunrise. John 20 verse 1, and she saw the stone moved away. Jesus has already risen. The stone was moved away so that Mary Magdalene or anyone can go into the tomb and see. Jesus did not want that uh, he didn't have to move the stone. The power of God, he, the earthquake moved the stone for people to go inside and see. Jesus is risen, risen, risen. Today every unbelief is going away. Every doubt is going away. Every fear, Nick, Nicholas, every defeated fear is going away. Angela, Angela, every defeated fear is going away. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Sherine. Every defeated fear is going away. Yes, you will rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, it's a healing faith. It's a healing faith. Oh, my beloved, then it's a miracle faith, saving faith, living faith, healing faith, miracle faith. Oh, when situations be be come beyond your control, when you feel the enemy is far greater than you, the defeated, defeated devil may make you feel like that. The problem is far big and far great. The Holy Spirit gives you a miracle faith now, a miracle faith, a miracle faith where you will speak the words of Jesus. Yes, 12 years that woman had an issue of blood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And she was passing blood for 12 years. She was virtually dying, the Bible says, Mark's Gospel, chapter 5. But she told herself she was virtually dying. All the doctors had given up. She had finished all her money. Where can she go? But she wanted to live. She wanted to live. She was not going to give up. She knew she will live when she touches the garment of Jesus. And what did she do? She didn't just think. She spoke. She spoke. 
to herself. She didn't tell other people. She spoke to herself. How many times I have preached this in before you, great people of God, loving, dear people of God. Believe, believe, remember these messages. Go into the media and see this. She told herself, she told herself, I will touch his garment. I will be healed. She had lost all her money on doctors. They had all given up. 12 years, blood is flowing continuously. Who can uh, live like that? The enemy appeared to be great, but Jesus is far greater, far more mightier than the defeated enemy. Speak the words to yourself. Don't speak to others. Don't speak to people. And my Lord, you speak to yourself. You speak to yourself. Mark 11, 23. Speak the words of Jesus. Speak the words of Jesus to yourself. Because Jesus lives, I will live also. Jesus has given me life and life in abundance. John 10, 10. Quote those words, read the Bible, speak those words to you. The Lord gives me long life, well satisfied with salvation until rapture and eternal, of course. Psalm 91, 16, thank you. Read those verses to yourself, yourself. Speak those words, speak those words to yourself. This is a miracle faith Holy Spirit brings. So it's a saving faith. It's a living faith, it's a healing faith, my loving children, and it's a miracle faith now. It's a miracle faith, it's an anointed faith. Miracle faith is called an anointed faith. My loving children, what you speak will come to pass. Oh, but your words must be compassion. Your words, even when you pray for others, when you pray for others, when a, when a man came and said, my son is going to die, Jesus, come and heal him. Jesus said, go thy way, your son liveth. He was full of compassion. He was full of love. Faith works by love. Faith works by love. It's the love of Jesus. It's the love of Father, Almighty God. He loves you, loves you, loves you. His word is anointed. His word is anointed with his power. He is risen. He is risen. So even you, dear servants of God, when you pray for others, when you speak, I remember a dear family. It's all in the magazines. It's all in the magazines many years ago. Uh, my, uh, it has happened many times, many miracles like this. You know, some of you know, many of you could have forgotten. Doesn't matter. Holy Spirit is reviving you. This family came all the way from another country. Their son was in very serious situation, in a, a, a condition in his health. And after the Friday morning miracle healing life service, they were waiting outside. They thought I will talk to them and find out there were a lot of, even after the service, after the testimony, still people line up for prayer. Many of you know. And I stand and pray and pray. Some of you would have gone home and rejoicing and having good lunch. This has been my life for years and years and years. You know it, many of you. Maybe you forgot God knows. He remembers. And my precious dear wife and daughter remember. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. It continues more in UK, greater in UK. Here it's, I am fully occupied. Even up to the end of the year, I have been invited. Every week we are ministering in various churches. People need the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, love of Jesus. Not money and show and silver and gold. Those eras are over. They want true representation, true representation of Jesus, true representation oh, of Jesus. He is the Savior. We have to be the true representatives, all of us, all of us, as his true bride. That's what is happening now until rapture. Oh, my beloved one, so much of invitations and ministries and healings and miracles are happening. He loves the broken heart. He will never pass by a broken heart. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. And this dear family now, this, this happened many years ago in Dubai, in your place, in Dubai. And I just was so tired. I just I was praying for people and they were, had to take a flight back to their country that evening. So I, they came, wanted to talk to me. I said, go, your son liveth, go. You know, they came again, they were standing there, came back again to me. I said, go, your son is healed, your son is healed. They were very, they, when they wrote to me, they said, Pastor, we were very upset, we were very even frustrated, and we were a little angry also. You never even took time to talk to us or even lay hands on our child. Anyway, we went to the hotel, rested, and when we got ready, we were very discouraged and even a little angry at you. 
And we went, while we were flying in the plane, my son realized, we realized he is fully healed, he is fully healed, he is fully healed. As we landed back and went home and the doctors checked him, he was fully healed. My loving children, our words must be full of love. It's the love of Jesus, not any man, but the love of Jesus. Every glory must be for Jesus. Every praise must be for Jesus. Holy Spirit comes only to lift Jesus and to live and to give the glory to Jesus and to draw people to Jesus, not to any man, not to any preacher. Never. It's all to Jesus, all to Jesus. Oh, the glory, it's an anointed faith, a miracle faith, hallelujah. He's giving you that faith, all your throat pains are over. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, everywhere, everywhere. Every defeated back pains, every defeated spinal pains, back pains are over. Every defeated ailments in your legs, in your legs, in your knees are over. You can rise and receive, you can lift your hands and receive, you can receive it right now in whatever way you are, wherever you are, he loves loves you, loves you, loves you, headaches are over, every body pains are over, every lumps and tumors are going away, he's washing your skin with his love, with his blood, with his resurrection power, his anointed faith, the Holy Spirit brings the anointed faith, every defeated skin disease are over, every defeated blood, blood diseases are over, every defeated related to your lungs and your heart is over, rejoice, rejoice your kidneys, yes, Holy Spirit is flooding you with his love, with his love, with his mercy, with his power, with his faith. You will live, live, live. We will live until rapture. Prakash, Prakash, you will live, you will live. Praveen, you will live. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your son will live. Your home will live. All of us, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Anyone, anyone, this is your time to receive. Yes, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. And beloved ones, then this is, this is very important. It's God's faith. God's faith. Oh, you know what? Everything is God's faith. It's from Jesus. This is God's faith. That means his divine nature. His divine character must fill us. Lord, I need your divine nature and your divine character to be loving and kind and humble and holy and, and with Mercy, oh, we must, Jesus said, I am holy, be holy. Jesus said, I am perfect, be perfect. Jesus said, I am merciful, be merciful. We must be like that. We want that faith, Lord. I want that faith in me to be holy, to be perfect, to be merciful like you, Jesus. That God's faith, God's faith. So saving faith, healing faith, living faith, miracle, anointed faith, and God kind faith. God's faith is Jesus. Jesus' faith. We must receive it wherever we are, whoever we are. We all need, I need, you need. Oh, just lift your hands and receive. Lift your hands. Your gums are healed. Your teeth is healed. Receive, receive everywhere. Your child is healed. Every defeated asthma or whatever is going away. Every defeated body pains, pain in your stomachs, ailments in your stomachs are going away. Lift your hands and receive. Lift your hands and receive. Rise and receive. Kneel down and receive. Oh, Holy Spirit is pouring that love, that love, and this love of Jesus works that faith. Yes, healing you, healing you. Boils are in your body, in your stomach is going away. Ailments are going away. Fears, fears are going away. Doubts are going away. Bad dreams and awful dreams are going away. Sinful habits, sinful natures are going away. Yes, yes, we are becoming like Jesus, like Jesus, like Jesus. He loves you, loves you. You, Andrew, receive it, receive it, receive it. Every defeated doubt is going away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Every defeated doubt is going away. Thank you. Every uncertainties are going away. Everyone, everyone, rise and receive. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the lame will walk, the dumb will speak, the dead will rise, every sin is washed away. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Receive, 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 receive. Yes, receive. He will never leave you, never forsake you. Every bones are being healed, joints are being healed, fevers are going away. 
Every depressive thoughts are going away. Just believe and receive, receive, receive. He loves you, loves you. Old sorrowful memories are going away. Old fearful memories are going away. He's freshening you with joy, with peace, with hope, with faith, with life, with life, with life, with life. Receive, 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 receive. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Rise up and give him the praise, give him the glory, give him the thanksgiving. Keep on thanking keep on thanking keep on praising he's doing it for you he's doing it for you yes you are not the same person as you came for this service or as you watched this service oh in youtube or facebook or the sunday evening service oh he loves you he's reigning his love his love his compassion Oh, the faith, 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 oh, the saving faith, healing faith, living faith, living faith, healing faith, miracle anointed faith, God's faith is filling us, filling us, all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. No more sorrow, no more fear, no more sin. Hallelujah. No more death, no more curse, no more defeated darknesses and frustrations. No, he's giving you joy, joy, peace, peace, comfort health, life, healing, wholeness, financial blessing, financial blessing, blessing in your job, in your job, in your business, lift your hand and receive. Things are going to be new. The stone is moved away. The doors are opening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Lloyd, receive. Lloyd, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Frank, receive. 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 I don't know who you all are, beloved children. Holy Spirit is giving the names. He loves you. He loves you. Loves you. Loves you. Every defeated ailment in your head, in your neck, in your shoulders, hands is going away. Lift your hands and praise Him. Praise Him. Every uneasiness in your stomach, in your stomach is going away. You are feeling feeling fresh. Oh, he is reviving your spirit, soul and body, your child, your home, your family, all of us until rapture and eternal with our generations. Yes, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Keep on thanking, keep on praising, giving him the glory. Every sorrow is going away. Yes, the faith, 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 faith in the Son of God. We will live until rapture and eternal, our homes, our generations. Hallelujah. In whatever way you may be, he loves you, loves you. Receive your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And this moment, my loving children, I want you to know that Holy Spirit is filling you. It's good, good to be one with him, good to agree with him, good to believe in him. Christ Jesus, tell him, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Fill me more. Fill me more. Anoint me more. I need you more to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, to become like Jesus in every way in my divine, his divine nature, his divine character, his divine power. Oh, we all need Jesus. I need, you need more and more, more and more, greater and greater, over and over again. We all need him. So two minutes, two minutes. We all will wait listening to this very anointed song of our one and only daughter divine. It's all the Holy Spirit. It's all him, the Holy Spirit. Two minutes we will all wait and receive from Jesus the great power of the Holy Spirit and the divine nature of Jesus. Hallelujah. We need Jesus. We need Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. We all need Jesus. Jesus has filled us. Holy Spirit has filled us. It's God, no man. The Lord just told me He's blessing children. He's blessing your children. He's blessing your children. He's blessing you. will see your children rise before your eyes and live rejoicing. All of us, all of us. He's blessing you. He's blessing you. Everywhere, everywhere your children are blessed. Lift your hands. The Lord is doing it. Jesus loves you, loves you, your home, your families. Receive, 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 receive. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Legs are being healed. Feet are being healed. Believe, believe, believe. Minds are being healed. Brains are being healed. Thank you, Jesus. No more fear. No more fear. No more tensions. Yes, no more unwanted imaginations and fears. Jesus is healing you, holding you in these booze. I mean, his booze. I mean, his booze. I mean, as a father, as a father holds his child. Thank you. Thank you. The power of the Holy Spirit is continuing. The power of the Holy Spirit is continuing. He loves the broken heart. He loves the simple, the humble, the faithful. Oh, it's all by Him. It's all by Him. Nothing of ours. It's all Him. He loves you. He's holding you like a father holding the child. Yes, you will never fall. You will never fail. All of us, our homes, our families, our generations until rapture and eternal. Give Him the glory. Give Him the praise. His love, His love, His love, His love, His love is bringing that faith right into you now. Yes, you are going to rise and rejoice. You are going to rise and rejoice. You are going to rise and rejoice. Give your testimony. Send your testimonies to us. We will praise Jesus. Praise him and praise him. Send your prayer request. Send your prayer request. He loves you, loves you. We will see you again. We will see you again. Jesus loves you until rapture and eternal. Until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. We'll see you again. See you again. Amen, amen, amen.